The snow jack shit was handed to me. I'd rather die than put my hands out. Yeah. It's like a test me and my Lego. Everyone has heard of it, but not many people know the history behind this iconic brick. And so I spent more than a few hours gathering all the research I need to give you guys a, br a good explanation as to the history of the Lego. And without further ado, let's get into it. So in 1932, a master carpenter and joiner established his business in Denmark. His business manufactured step ladders, wooden toys, stools, and ironing boards. And as a side note, his son started working for him at the age of 12. At this time, the company was also not known as Lego, in fact, I believe it didn't even have a proper name. And this leads on to my second point, because in 1934, the company became known as Lego, which in Danish means, I put together. At this time, the firm only had about six to seven employees. Over the course of the next few years, Lego became, began to grow, and in 1939, Lego opened its first factory, and at this time, the factory only had about ten workers. In 1940, Denmark was op occupied by the Germans and Hitler's awful regime. At this time, the son of the original creator of Lego was old enough to go to university, and it was his plans to go to Germany to study. However, due to the brutal regime of Hitler, he decided to instead become a general manager at Lego. This quite possibly saved Lego, because without his son, who was going to lead the Lego into the future? In 1942, the actual Lego factory burnt to the ground, however quick they were managed to recover quickly and were able to rebuild their wooden toys, and at this time the firm only had around 40 employees. Now in 1949, we see the first introduction of quite possibly the most iconic Lego brick known to the Lego company, and at this time the company only produced around 200 different wooden and plastic toys, including the automatic binding bricks known as the Lego bricks today. Today, a special model is sold almost exclusively in Denmark, and at this time we, we saw the first packaging with four colours introduced. Moving on a little bit, in 1955, the Lego bricks have been extensively developed, and so the company launched a revolutionary new platform known as the Lego System of Play. And at this time, the first real export of Lego begins. And in fact, the first country that Lego was exported to was Sweden. Something also of note is that the former boy who was the ma general manager of Lego has been promoted to vice president on the day that he turned 30. Now in 1958, the original creator of Lego, who was a skilled carpenter, passed away in his sleep. The son, who was the junior vice president of Lego, became the head of Lego and was appointed to take the, to take the company to the future. At this time, Lego has 140 employees. Now this is sort of the period of time where everything becomes extensively <laughs> more progressive, and the Lego company becomes so powerful. So in 1960, the wooden toy house was completely destroyed, and so all wooden toys were no longer produced by Lego. Also, Lego at this time has 450 employees. And just think about that for a second. In a few years, they went from around 100 employees to 100, sorry, 450 employees. It's just scary how some companies can just progress, just like a, at the click of a finger. In terms of the period of time, of course. In 1962, as a proud Australian, I will must add that LEGO Australia was established and LEGO really began its worldwide domination. So moving on quite a bit, in 1970, there were almost 1,000 employees working uh, for LEGO in the original company. Obviously, they had their different franchises overseas, for example, LEGO Australia, but when I'm talking about 1,000 employees, I'm only talking about the employees that worked for the original company. So in 1981... The first ever LEGO World Show was was opened in Denmark. So really from the 1960s all the way to our current time, LEGO really did just begin its world domination. It, it signed so many brand deals. For example, it signed brand deals with Star Wars, which allowed them to create LEGO sets for Star Wars. They also hired more employees, for example. By the time of the early 2000s, they'd had thousands of employees working for their parent company. This is excluding the franchises that have franchised overseas. Speaking of which, LEGO has expanded to countries such as South Africa and Singapore. LEGO also opened many theme parks, such as in 1968, they opened LEGO Land Billund, in which they attracted over 625,000 visitors within its first season of opening, and between 18 and 19 million LEGO sets were sold during this year. This year meaning 1968. Also at this time, many leaders of LEGO came and go. For example, in 1986, the son of the founder of LEGO resigned of chairman of the board, and his successor, I believe it was his son, took over as his or as the new chairman. So guys, if I can summarize this in a simple way, 
obviously there's so much information about the history of LEGO, however, I didn't want to bore you with all the different LEGO sets that released in many different years. I just thought I'd keep it short and sweet, and the reason I also didn't refer to the leader and founder of LEGO as his real name is because I can't pronounce it now. Obviously, that's very fucking embarrassing, but that's the truth. But this has been just a quick look at LEGO... Also, the domination of LEGO and how it expanded across the world, launched so many different sets, they had so many different brand deals, earned so much fucking money, and they really just became just a world superpower in the world, in the world of kids' toys. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave it a like, it really helps me out an absolute fuck ton. Don't forget to subscribe, because I upload as much as I can, I upload little dorky videos such as this, such as the history of the great company known as LEGO, and... I think that's enough self-promotion from me today. Once again, it's been Hayden, and I'll see you later. Hard times, but you're gonna get through it I promise you, cause I've been there I got up and I put my mind to it They told me no, but I told them yes And I used to feel all alone, so depressed But I fought back, now I smile again If I ever fail, I'ma just try again And I felt pain that I thought I'd never end But I prayed long and I played my cards Then the stars aligned, cause I worked hard Then God went and threw me a curveball I still swung, hit a home run I look fear in the face, I don't run I seen that, but I'm still blessed I come from a world of no love I'm hustling off for my family But I never had nothing hand to me People done shit to me, you can't believe Back in high school, bitches were laughing me Now they're hitting me up, saying what's up Do you remember me? I'm trying to fuck Mm, nah, I don't fuck with